Hello everyone, Storm101 here. Today we'll be taking a look into uh, a quick update on the tropics here. And we're going to go ahead and begin uh, with Invest 99L that has developed in the Caribbean here. They actually upgraded to a 60% chance of development in the next 5 days here. And also the next 48 hours is also a 50% chance. We also have another area that also has a pretty good chance of developing. And it's this one right here, which is not an invest yet. But I'm sure it'll probably happen pretty soon. For in the next 48 hours, it has a 50% chance of developing. And then in the next five days, it has a high-end 70% chance of developing. But at this point here, good news with this system here, it's kind of like a Kyle. If you guys remember for Kyle, it came off from... North Carolina and just had no threat to land. This is going to be a very similar situation uh, with, this, with this disturbance right here. So we won't talk much about uh, this one right here, but I'll show you guys where it's going to be going from the European model. Then you got these disturbances right over here in the main development region. You got disturbance number two, which has a 30% chance in the next five days for developing. And then you also have this one here has a low end 20% chance of developing in the next five days as well. But it's also a little bit too early to talk about these systems at this point here. But I'll show you guys one of the models that's actually picking up on both of those systems at, towards the end of the video. But let's first talk about Invis 99 ill Now, I don't really quite have all the hurricane models uh, for right now. Well, I do have at least for the intensity guidance from the hurricane most, but I do not have the tracks from the, the GFS ensemble parallel or even the GFS ensembles either. So all we have is the intensity guidance here. And as you can see here, we only got three for right now, but you can see them, there's a decent agreement that there will uh, be a category one hurricane in the Caribbean, which we kind of look into the conditions in the Caribbean. It's pretty favorable for tropical systems there's no wind shear to deal with there's also not even any dry air so invis 99l is pretty much good to go for intensifying in the uh caribbean now the biggest question is where is it going to go um in terms of it um but here's what it looks like right now in infrared satellite kind of pretty disorganized here It'll probably take some time to really organize there so here's the European model here. MS 99L is right here, uh, just north of uh, South America there. Yeah, as you can see, how it kind of continues there. It's pretty much like right in there. Kind of weakens, but I highly doubt it's going to weaken. You can actually see, at least on the northern portion of the circulation, which is actually kind of broad, at least for the European model, it's actually 25 mile per hour winds, sustained winds. That kind of leads you to a tropical depression there. You can see it gets up increased thunderstorm activity later on by Jamaica. And then eventually starts to turn more west into Central America and Mexico right there, making landfall somewhere in this region right in here. So that's some good news there. So so far at this point here of time. There's no threat to the United States because there's going to be a ridge over the Gulf here. Now, there is potential with a setup like this here. It may go right through here because there's a little trough that's in this region here. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And that kind of brings a little bit of a threat for Texas, though. But it's uh, kind of a little too far out. But here's the G uh, the European model. Still the same thing. This is the GFS. So there's a pretty good agreement that's going to make landfall in this region here because of this ridge of high pressure there. Uh, so, yeah. But we're going to have to keep an eye on Invest 99L there very closely here. So, again, it seems like the track um, at this point here will make landfall somewhere in Central America, right in this region, right in there. And actually may go into the Eastern Pacific there as well. So, we'll keep an eye on for uh, Invis Diane IO. But again, I think it has a pretty decent chance of developing into a, at least a tropical depression or a tropical storm at this point here because the conditions are pretty favorable. All it really needs to do is try to get organized there and then we can have us a 
tropical depression or a tropical storm. Now let's going to move on to uh, the, the the other disturbance here that's actually uh, in Florida, which eventually will get into the Atlantic here. So here's Sunday. Here's your tropical system right there. And as you can see there, it really develops kind of a little bit quickly there. You can see at this point here, it's actually 35 miles per hour. So it is a strong tropical depression. GFS has a little bit closer to the coast there, but actually is a little bit more weaker. But again, like I said, doesn't really have a threat to land uh, right beyond that. So, yeah, that's from disturbance, uh, what do they call it, uh, number three right there, which I think it will likely become a tropical system there. And let's talk about these two disturbances that's going to be in this region in here. So, we're able, the European model is actually picking up both of them. So, if we kind of continue on uh, throughout the week here, here comes one of them right there, which I believe, if I'm correct, it's disturbance number two that has a low end 30% chance of developing. You can see here how it continues into the main development region. And there it is right there, which it continues. And actually starts to gain a little bit of intensity there. Sustained wind wise is actually uh, looks like about 30 mile per hour sustained winds there. If you turn on wind gusts, about 40 miles per hour. So at this point here, it'll be a tropical depression here and or an invest. You can see how it continues to move westward. And then you got this other disturbance, which is disturbance number four which is right there, which it seems like it moves to the north right there. And meanwhile, you got this other disturbance kind of moving to the uh, west there, but it's a little bit too far out at this point. I mean, this is 10 days out to keep in mind that uh, this is uh, 10 days out here, but we'll be keeping an eye on these, on all these systems here very closely. But, Anyways, guys, this is all for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy this uh, little bit of a tropical update. If you guys like this uh, video, hit that like button. If you really do like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. If you guys have questions about this, you can put a comment section down below. And if you guys have questions, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.